What is that noise? I did hear something. Yo, who was that? The Thomas M. Cooley High School of Detroit is named after a Supreme Court justice in the late 1800s. But in addition to that, this school was built as a response to the growth in Detroit. So the city and the state issued an initiative to build more high schools. Thomas M. Cooley High School was one of those schools. So the initial school opened in 1928, and throughout the years it was expanded as Detroit's population exploded. Part of its history is its core at the center of a racial debate because of Detroit's population transferring into more of a black population throughout the 40s, 50s, and 60s. I think what's unique about the school is that it closed in 2010. Throughout all of the expansions and things like that, it was built to hold 3,400 people. At the time of its closing, it only had 1,100 students. So you guys already know about the recession in 2007 and 2008 and how that continuously affected Detroit schools. In 2004, it had undergone a lot of renovations so they had put like 13 to 15 million dollars including replacing the roof to make sure that it was up to par and really meeting the expectations of what they expected for their students without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get up in there because my curiosity continues to get the best of me let's get to it man I have never been to this school before I know about it. I think my mom actually went here, but I've never actually been to the school before. I don't think there's going to be too much difficulty getting in. I can hop right in in one of those windows. Or we can go right in here. You know how large the school is? It's a restroom. And I heard the alumni actually tried to purchase the school before it fell this far into disrepair. It's completely stripped of anything worth value. Yeah, lockers over here. I don't even know where I'm headed. I don't know the layouts of these schools. I was always taught to work my rights first. Wow. You know, a lot of the damage that you see in these places, and I know you guys get tired of me talking about and emphasizing and going off on people. I wonder whose office this was. But going off on people who damage and tear these places up. So apparently there's a hood, which means that you can cook in here. I'm guessing. Yep. People were stripping the mess out of this place. Broke a tool, left it in there. It's crazy. This is a sink flipped upside down. Oh man, talk about getting lost. It's freezing in here. Dining room B. So apparently they had 
multiple lunch rooms. And this was one of them. Serving B. Wow. There's hardly no natural light in the side of the building. Again, it's absolutely freezing in this place. Editing suite. What's in the editing suite? Nothing's in the editing suite. Uh-uh. You're not about to trap me in here. Man. There's no remnant of anything classroom related, that's for sure. What the heck is that? Apparently there was a fire or someone set it on fire. There's no point in that happening. Wow. They still got the name of the uh, teachers that was teaching geography in this room. I got a health clinic. This school was huge. I remember those old clocks. People were in here working to strip this place. Why are y'all putting holes in stuff? That irritates me, man was a lot of famous people that graduated from Cooley, ironically enough. When they break these windows, it just lets in cold air, and then it winds up becoming a lot colder within the building than it is outside, because you don't have any sun, you know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, I am completely turned around. I know that's not hard for you guys to, be to believe. This is the place where they did the marching band, apparently. Office, office. If you guys know somebody that went to Cooley High School here in Detroit, tell them uh, check out this video share it with them. They might can provide additional insight that I'm not familiar with, obviously. I just document these places. I don't necessarily know a whole lot about them. That's the boys' restroom. Obviously, it'll be completely destroyed. And, uh, We'll just continue to get lost. You know, I've learned to embrace being lost. What is this? What the heck is this? That's where you continue to find. The good stuff. Is it scary being lost? A little bit. But, uh, it is what it is. What is all these chemicals? Why is there so many chemicals here? What room is this? For anybody that may know. Office of Transportation and Attendance. So, if you were continuously late. Oh, here's the principal's office. completely trashed the principal's office. Principal's office had carpet. Not sure what this was. Who was the principal? Miss L. Dandridge, assistant principal. Hmm. Well, found the elevators more doors 
All right, y'all see it. Find one in every place. Hit them up for me. Tell them where you seen it. Guess we'll head upstairs. Yeah, man, these uh, high schools, man, in Detroit were absolutely humongous, bro. I like going up the stairs because it's less dangerous, less trampled on, and there's less of a possibility of something happening to me. Also, what's awesome about going upstairs a lot of times is that you get a lot more natural light. It is so freezing in here. But again, if you know anybody that went here, you need to share this video with them because I'd love to hear or get their perspective on what it was like to go here. Because I went to a Detroit Public High School, so yeah, let's keep it going, man. Don't want to get fined. Custodial skills. Yep. I agree. I agree 1000%. But apparently, people came up here and broke all the windows out. So we still, as you can see, we haven't even crossed that side and we haven't even went to the back. So let's keep it moving, man, because uh, there's still a lot to see. Wonder what room this was. Band storage. Ha! These are really nice cabinets. I'm surprised I didn't try to take these apart and take these out. So this is where they had all band practice and stuff at up here. Apparently. Left something on the whiteboard. I still have a good opportunity. To... Hmm. So many different classrooms. Ha! <laughs> This had to be like the band choir room. Yep. World history. Hmm. Yep. I was never in the band, but it's pretty awesome to see and capture. It was really in the band here. It's like a whole wing dedicated to band. That's real ugly right there. I don't condone that. I don't want to miss anything. Wait a minute, what is this? What is this? Hey, right, look at the guy with the Nike shirt on now. At least they didn't tear that up. Oh, is this like a uh, chemistry? I don't know, astronomy? It's a dishwasher. That's weird. Please make sure missing a silent, so turned in. Wonder what I had dish, oh, I know what I had dishwashers. I'm guessing that these are like the chemistry, biology labs, US history, final exam. Don't look back, you're not going that way. That's pretty dope. They put the things that they use to test or do their experiments in the dishwasher to wash and sanitize them. Yeah. What goes in there? Hey, do the new schools have these type of pencil sharpeners? I love those pencil sharpeners. As a matter of fact, I remember we used to play this game called Breaks. And uh, you try to break the other person's pencil. A waste of your mom's uh, money towards 
Good supplies, <laughs> school supplies. It's just like me. When you show something like this, all that mean is. What is that noise? Um, I did hear something. You hear it? Look at this wood floor. This is so dope. What are you guys studying? Algebra. Apparently we towards the middle of the school. So, oh, this is dope. This is a media center. Switch it up with a different color carpet. Completely exposed to the elements, which means that it's freezing cold in here. Apparently people from Seven Mile were in here. Yo, who was that? What you, doing here? what you doing in here? I seen people coming in here. What you mean you seen people come in here? They be taking pictures and doing all that other stuff in here. I knew I heard something. <laughs> okay. What's going on, man? You all right? Been in here before? Uh, I've seen people just be coming in here taking pictures. And I see, you know, so I just come in and they be doing graffiti. So I ain't got nothing to worry about, right? No, 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 no. All right. Thank you. What's your name? Girl. Just keep a lookout for me. Okay. I don't want nobody running up on me. Okay. Well, so apparently you live around here, right? Yes. I live right across the street. So tell me a little bit about this place. It's nothing like having a personal tour guide. When, when I came here, I mean, well, it's nothing interesting down these hallways. My name is all depending on what you want to see. I want to see the gym. The gym is down this way. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is going on this here? This is auditorium. Now, whoa, when they first started, this is crazy. When they first started, right? It's what? nothing left but the, the but the metal from the chairs. Listen, what nothing wrong with this auditorium? Look at the ceilings. The fire came, they set it on fire, it burnt up everything. I see. This auditorium is dope, man. Look at the, the, yeah. uh, the detail in the ceilings and the. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they burnt this up. How did a fire get started in here? Them kids. They started a fire? Yes. Look at the stage, man. See, because they had left, uh -huh. they left a lot of that caustic shit in here. Okay. And them kids was getting it. Remember? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. When you first heard about the clothes, they was leaving all that shit in there. This is last year, though. Yeah, but they but left. But the fire came. Look at this, man. I can't believe they burnt this up. This is so disrespectful. I can't believe they would just set because a fire look, to this. A fire got to be awful hot. Yeah, it, mel it melted all the seats. For it to twist that steel. This is nuts. This place could have been saved. Well, what you gonna do with it? The only one who can afford to do something like this yeah. in here, be somebody like Dan Gilbert. Or all right, show me where the gym is. Did, did this place have a pool? Yeah. How did they keep the fire contained to just this part, though? See, because see, as you see, see them doors they pulling off. Yeah, them fire doors. Oh, so they was up here. these right here. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Man, you know where you going in here? Yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at this. This is beautiful. Boss. Oh man. You can tell uh, this is a, a nice little gym. So wait a minute, how many gyms did they have? Did they have another gym? They had another gym too though, right? Like a regular, another, cause this is like a recreational gym with the track that run around. No. But don't they got another gym too? The other part of it is downstairs. Yeah, we gonna have to check that out. It's the pool and stuff like that. Yeah, we gonna have to see that. Let's go check that out. It was uh, champions in 87 and 88 apparently. Look at how, man, can't believe this. The floors is warped, completely warped. Yeah. 
Hey man, what can I do to, to show my appreciation, man? Can I at least buy you something to eat or something, man? That's what you get. At least buy you something to eat. Oh, this is the pool right here. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Wait a minute, how deep is this pool? Uh, I think the biggest part is like nine feet. <laughs> it looked deeper than nine. Eight, Eight feet. Six inches. Eight and a half feet. Yeah. Wow. This is a pretty decent sized pool too. Yeah, it's an Olympic pool. So they got it's nine feet on both sides then. Yep. This is the locker rooms right here. The key to it uh -huh. is when you stay in the center. Whoa, this is a stage. Hold on. <laughs> this is crazy. All this came down out of the chill from the fire. Twisted steel. This is pretty bad. This is vent. What? This completely uh tore up. What? What's up? What no none of us on the stage to catch the fire. Except for the floor. I mean, but that was that was the mirror key that went into the fire. Yeah. Ain't nobody get hurt in that fire? Nope. That's surprising. This is where y'all used to sit. The students that went to Thomas Sim Cooley High School. Ain't nothing salvageable about it now. They gonna have to tear this place down, man. Ain't nothing you can say here. It's all burnt up. They had to bring something in here though for that though. You don't think so? Man, look at all this nonsense. You smell it? Yeah, I smell it. See all this shit? Yeah, it's, all this it's flammable. It, it smells like it's flammable. See that? Yeah. They get Really? Yes. That is kerosene. Yeah, I guess it ain't hard to start a fire when you think about it like that. Stay further. You said this was the technical side, huh? Yeah, this is where they ate at. This is a con hold on, let me look in here real. This is a conference room and a software testing area. Yeah, they had all kinds of shit in here. So, whatever happened. Ain't nothing in here, man. Wow. Oh, this is a secretary? Thomas M. Cooley High School in Detroit. I appreciate y'all and I appreciate my homie Daryl right here for giving me the personal tour. I didn't know what it was, so you know how we do it. Well, I'm just cautious, but I'm never jumping. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you holler at me on social media, AntonDaniels.com. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.